Let's make sure we're going live here in a second. All right, we are live. It's a great Saturday morning, guys. I'm out here in the Pacific Northwest. You guys can get a little look at what we're dealing with today. It's a little foggy out there, but I think the sun's going to break through those clouds in a second. And, you know, I was just kind of bored and I thought, why not make a little product research video and give you guys some other Amazon FBA tips. Not only that, we are almost at 13,000 members in this Facebook community. That is freaking crazy. We're almost getting 100 to 200 new people in here every single day. So I want to thank everyone that's in here right now. And one other quick reminder, because we don't want this group to be full of just spam and this and that. So if you're a virtual assistant, you know, just try and keep your post to a minimum as, as, a, as far as offering your services. But if there's anyone saying, hey, I need help with something, you virtual assistants are more than welcome to go jump on those messages. Let's just keep the group nice. Share all the success you're having, ask questions, and, you know, give any other helpful tips that you guys have. And that's what the group's all about. So before I jump into product research, I'm going to minimize this down a little bit. And I want to show you a little something over here in the inventory dashboard on Amazon because a lot of people have been asking, how do we get our score to increase on our performance index? This is based on a number of different things, which you can view under performance right here. Uh, and I just want all you guys to know that all you have to do to find this is to hover over your inventory tab on Amazon. So it should be right up there and you can say manage inventory and you'll come to this page uh, it'll show performance you press that and this is the inventory dashboard so one of the best things and i just had a call with amazon the other day is they said to um just see if there's any recommendations that amazon is recommending to you as far as restocking your inventory so i came in and i actually had some recommendations they said hey you should ship in another shipment what you want to do is actually press v wall if you have anything here and say hide recommendations. If you don't hide these recommendations, Amazon's gonna think you are not listening to them and that's gonna hurt your inventory performance score. So I'm expecting to see my score shoot up a little higher. Again, if this score is under 450, you won't be able to send in unlimited units to the Amazon warehouse. So keep that in mind, guys. Appreciate everyone here. Drop a thumbs up on this video and subscribe like I have hopefully in the message here to my YouTube channel if you want to support uh, more content getting out to you guys. I've made almost 400 videos there and I absolutely love publishing all this content. You know, I have a 2020 income report video that's pretty valuable for you guys to see if you want to see how I made $188,000 in profit in the year 2020. Um, I have another product that I just talked about why you shouldn't sell it. And, you know, student success, all these other just regular successful people. Um, even my own dad's out here somewhere in the, in the successful videos. You know, we got dad on here. Good stuff. Um, so without further ado... Let's hop into product research and I want to see, you know, if you guys can hear me loud and clear, if we're live, drop a comment, let me know where you're tuning in from. I'd love to hear that. Like I said, I'm out here in the Pacific Northwest, Seattle, Washington. I'm going to be moving to Miami, Florida on February 7th for a few months until further notice, baby. Let's go. All right. So yeah, here uh, you can see basically this link is going to be the subscription to YouTube. Show me that support. Drop it right there. Let's hop in. Oh, I was looking at a remote control car. This thing's like 500 bucks, and I have one of these, and I absolutely love this. This is a hobby. A lot of my friends, we work so hard. We need hobbies and things that we can just get our mind off of business and just tone down for a second and relax. So I'm going to go skateboard today. Tons of boards on the wall over here. We love to skate um, and remote control cars, all that crazy stuff. So I'm still a kid at heart. Anyways, let's do this research method. We're going to go the negative keyword search and you start by doing a minus and then a bunch of random letters just like that. And this is going to pull up every product that is not 
this slew of random letters. Now, notice here on the department side, this is where we're going to have to come next. Uh, it's going to only give us home and kitchen, a couple categories. You don't want to press see all departments because this won't work. But if you want to switch it up to see maybe different uh, departments, maybe you do a different amount of weird letters. And there you go. Now it's showing us sports and fitness, toys and games, a few other cool categories. So let's go into toys and games, uh, sports and fitness. What do you guys want to see? Um, drop a comment. If anyone's even in here, I know it's a Saturday. What what category do you guys want me to do product research in? So we have about five seconds for you guys to do that. Otherwise, I'm just going to pick one on my own. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, toys and games it is. All right, Luke Weschberg commented. He wants to see toys and games. Oh, that's me. Okay, anyways, we'll go to toys and games. Now watch closely, guys. You got to watch closely. So once you're here, again, you have to choose a department without saying see more departments. Just follow that. Now we're going to sort by the price high to low. Okay. Um, now we basically sorted this entire category of toys and games based on the price high to low so now we see 400 pages but at least since we've sorted it by the price we have some sort of organization going on in here today um what you have to do is at least come down like i just did and press on page two once you do that you can see in the url it says page equals two i know many of you guys have heard this from me before but you know those of you who haven't seen this method it's kind of cool so uh, let's just say page, we, we can delete the page equals two and just say page equals 153. So once we do that, now we just shot to every product that's $64. And why I like this is because it's not like using any of these other, uh, you know, we can go into black box and do different uh, filters and things like that to find products but maybe a lot of people are using the same filters and finding the same products with this you're not really gonna find a lot of those same products because we're on page 153 in some random category now all we have to do is keep looking for some random products now magnetic speed cube that's a $65 little toy product and I see another person here with the magnetic puzzle cube but it looks like a different brand. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the same brand or not. This could be a patented product. But what I would do to further check out that market, simply click in here and highlight the main keyword, Magnetic Speed Cube. And we'll open Amazon in a new tab so I don't lose But now that I have highlighted that main keyword, let's just search it. Magnetic speed cube. Would I have ever have known about this product? Ever? No. You know, everyone wants to sell on Amazon. They're like, oh, let's go sell, you know, a Glock, a Glock 19. Yeah, no, there's too many restrictions for that, guys. There's too many restrictions. Or they're just looking to sell, you know, items that I have so many cool things, Myra. I, I, I want to show you guys, but we'll do the home tour another day. Um, there's so many other things that. They're like, oh, uh, let's do uh, some baby product, a baby bottle or something. And a lot of that stuff you can find in any random store. You know, you have to come in and find something. You basically, you have to come to Amazon to find it. So now let me show you what. So we just did all that. We found all the different products. And I like to see Moyu, Gan, um, D Fanti. Uh, so there's a lot of different brands here, which is pretty good. Um, there's not a lot of different brands, but there's enough to say we could make our own brand of this product. And I like this. They have the bundle. That's great. Now, what you guys need is the Helium 10 Chrome extension. This is going to show us that keywords actually getting searched 2,300 times a month. People are looking for it. And 
Now we want to see the sales per month. Again, this tool is hands down 1000% needed. And I will have a discount code. I think I'll drop the uh, Helium 10 link and discount code for you guys. Uh, by the time I finish this call, I'll have it there. But, uh, and I will show you how to get that as well really quick because you can actually get this for free. Um, you can download the tool for free. It will only give you 50 uses a month. All you have to do is use my link because if you want to buy it, you can get 50% off it and it's only $18 on its own anyway. Come over to Helium 10, go resources, say, uh, well, basically just click on the link. You'll be able to come here and then come to free tools, say Chrome extension and install this into your Google Chrome browser. This is Google Chrome, the search engine, download it there and then it will show up up here in this Chrome extension. So while this is still loading, um, we need to see how much demand we're talking about in sales. We're like, okay. I mean, a lot of people are making hundreds and hundreds of sales a month. It's pretty consistent. You know, it's not a ton of sales. There's not a ton of revenue on this first page for this market. Average revenue is pretty good. Um, but who's this person? Okay, this guy, $13.99, and they're making 1,400 sales a month. That's 20K in revenue. But then, you know, you have to come in and see how much can we get these for on Alibaba. So Alibaba, you know, I'm kind of interested in this. I want to give you the full breakdown of what you do to verify a product. So we come over to this website where there's suppliers for us, and I typed in Magnetic Speed Cube. And here's the same product for $1.65. Okay, and you can go throw your own brand on it. I'm sure that's not a problem. Now, if we could come in, so $1.65, it comes with a stand, yada, yada, yada. Now, what the Helium 10 tool is also going to do is it's going to pull up a little bar here, as you can see. And it's going to show us a profit calculator. So there's Amazon fees. That's what it costs to sell this item on Amazon and for them to ship it out to the customer for you so you can wake up and make money in your underwear, okay, when you just woke up from bed. So anyways, we'll say with shipping, maybe the thing costs $6. Okay, we ship it in. Every part of that bundle costs us 6 bucks. We sell it $32. We're making $18 profit per sale. Wow. Now... You can multiply that by how many sales a month this guy's getting. 119 sales a month. So $18 times 119. And this person's probably throwing up a quick $2,000, $2,100 a month. And all they had to do was come into Alibaba, press contact supplier, sign into their account, and say, hey, can I get 200 of these shipped into the Amazon warehouse with my own logo on them and this and this and this with this bundle? And they say, yeah, sure, let's do that. So it's that simple. And then at the at the end of the day, you know, there's always hiccups. It's not just that simple, of course. But you look at your competitors. You're like, okay, everyone's selling almost the same thing. Someone's doing the case with it. What else can you buy? If this is just a separate guy, what else is frequently bought together? Oh, there's this bigger one, and then there's the little mini four one. Why not make that a two pack? And oh, here's more product research for you. Why not come down and look at all these other weird similar Rubik's Cube type games, and now you find, oh, the, the triangle one. Wow. So why don't we throw that in with one of these or something? It's, it's never ending, and now we just found a whole niche of Rubik's Cubes based on one product that we went into the rabbit hole with on my random search method. Let's drop a thumbs up if anyone's here. Is anybody here? Is anybody here? Thank you guys. Wow, almost. We're, we're going. Um, that was our first product. Let's see if we can find something else. And, uh, you know, maybe it's making more money. You know, oh, mini UPS truck. That's cool. I like that. Um, you know, these are kind of competitive. I didn't exactly show you how many reviews everyone had for that product, but it doesn't matter if they have a ton of reviews. Sometimes you can make a better bundle and still come out and stand out on top. So, okay. This guy right here looks cool. 
See, I'm not trying to get something big. I'm not doing bed spreads. I'm not getting some like Kingdom Hearts trademark thing. But this stands out. So you have to be able to know what to look for. If I come down here, okay, uh, family chess, terracotta warrior chessboard. That's cool too. All right, so since we found two cool products, we're going to open the terracotta warriors and I'm going to open this human anatomy. And let's see if there's anything else here. You know, trademarks, batteries, big item that you can buy in many stores. Where, where are you going to go buy this? Okay. Now, we're going to do this really quick here. Um, classic chessboard. Terracotta Warriors chess set. Boom. Main keyword. I love Saturday. Because I make money on a Saturday when I'm at home doing nothing. All right. Terracotta Warrior set. Boom. Here they all are. Here's the keyword. Here's the market. Here's what we're going up against. Now, pressing Helium 10 once again to see, are there sales in this market? Is there a variety of sellers? Are the reviews low? Is there good search volume? Sometimes they just won't even show you search volume and sales, not a lot of sales. That's why you need this tool. Okay, yeah, there's no reviews, no competition, but maybe, you know, not enough people are searching this. They're not buying it, yada, yada, yada. There's one person doing well here because they have a lot of reviews and they've been in the market a while. So now their search history, their search ranking, their sales history the more sales you make, the more keywords Amazon will start showing you up for. So maybe they're showing up for just regular chess board, you know, and that's what's getting them most of these sales. Um, they're also FBA. A lot of these people are merchant fulfilled. That means they're not prime. That means maybe they are offering, you know, only two week shipping to the customers instead of two day shipping. That's why we want to ship into the Amazon warehouse that automatically automatically makes us prime. So we could easily beat out all these merchant fulfilled people. There's literally like five people that are prime here anyway. You know, you can even sort by all prime. And it literally brought us from 995 results to 10 results. Did you guys see that? 995 results, all prime. And 10 results that's why you want to see what you're doing man so here's all the terracotta sets boom and some of these are kind of you know harry potter you know maybe it's not exactly all of them that are terracotta the exact ones we want but we can still hover over these guys 58 sales a month 181 sales a month uh zero reviews these guys are brand new so honestly the guy with 12 reviews this could this could be you $65, hardly any reviews, and you're making $3,700 a month in revenue with your 58 sales at a $64 selling price. Now, I haven't gone into Alibaba, but that would have been the next step to see how much this costs. God, I love teaching my computer. I don't even know who's out there watching this, but I love talking about this stuff, guys. We can see on the graph how long have they been selling. So they started here. The higher this pink line is, the lower sale, the worse sales they're making. The closer it is, see a sales rank, 58,000, 30,000, whatever. The lower it gets, 24,000, the more sales it's making. That's product number 40, 24,000 in the category. If you're product number 397,000, you're not making that many sales. But you can come in here and say, hey, maybe if the whole set costs us $18 with shipping, 26 profit per sale times, you know, 50 sales a month, um, you're still at like $1,700 in profit or whatever a month with just 50 little sales. That's why I like these higher priced items. You're, you're able to make more profit per sale. Okay, so last one I want to do is the human body anatomy, human body mode. Okay, so maybe it's kind of hard to find the right keyword. Human torso anatomy. That, that sounds good enough to me. Now, you want to change the department from toys and games to all departments when you search this so you get the best results. And I would say, all right, this is cool. This is cool. This is about it. This is all of our types of products here. Very good. Very, very good. 
human torso anatomy. Maybe that's not even the exact best keyword, but okay, a lot of people have low reviews here. Sales are kind of spotty, but, but maybe if you make the good bundle or you stand out or you include an ebook with it or an instruction guide about how each organ works, you're going to provide more help for people. Like this is a $493 one and they're making five sales a month still. So a lot of these sellers will get something in there. Maybe they're a doctor. Maybe they don't know much about marketing or Amazon. And you can come in and market a better product and, you know, beat some people out. Um, but that's kind of what I wanted to say to you. We didn't even get a chance to look in black box with the keyword or the product research here. But that's what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm going to do a Q&A for about 10 more seconds because I don't, th I don't uh, see any comments here or anything. So... If you guys have any questions, drop them now and I will answer them. Oh, actually I see up in the corner there's 12 people watching. Nice. So yeah, if you guys want anything else, you know, drop a thumbs up on this. I'm going to post it as an announcement and I'm going to try and do kind of these lives whenever I can once a week, you know, every, every now and then we'll come in, but I appreciate all you guys for watching. Those of you guys who just joined this live, Rewatch the replay. I found some pretty cool products literally like time after time after time. So it was pretty easy there. And I think you guys can really utilize these methods. Again, go support the Luke W YouTube channel. And that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much. Again, if there's any other questions, drop them now. Otherwise, have a great weekend. Um, <clears throat> what else? Is there anything I can show you guys here? You know, we got some other books we've been reading. Um, I'm reading Opportunity by Eben Pagan right now. Uh, good stuff, good stuff. So thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you later. Peace.